Welcome to Visit Britain Itineraries, things to do in a day around the UK. Today we're taking a trip through the ages in the ancient city of St Albans. My challenge is to show you just how much I can see and do in one day and still be home in time for dinner. Can I do it? Yes I can. St Albans is just a short train ride from London with regular services throughout the day. This cathedral city is steeped in history, with a heritage that stretches back over 1,000 years. First stop is the Town Hall, built in 1831. This Grade II listed building houses the town's historical courtroom, which still survives today and is open to the public. This is the dock where criminals were tried. At the back, there's a staircase leading down to the cells, which is where the phrase, being sent down, comes from. <laughs> It's also where you'll find the tourist information office, with stacks of leaflets, vouchers for your day in the city and friendly staff eager to help. If you fancy stretching your legs, then why not try a St Albans walking tour? There's plenty to choose from. You could follow the historic St Albans route, or you could try a walk based on one of St Albans' most famous citizens, Samuel Ryder, who started the Ryder Cup. The Samuel Ryder Trail takes about 45 minutes and takes in the Verulam Golf Course where Ryder first started. The Town Hall is located right in the centre of St Albans' main shopping area. Alongside the many shops and cafes, there is also a bustling market, one of the largest in the south-east of England. Thank, Thank you. you very much. It takes place every Wednesday and Saturday and has over 160 stalls. Whether you're looking for gifts, local produce or just a bite to eat. Mmm, delicious. Just down the hill from the market is this medieval clock tower, built in the 15th century. It is the only example of its kind in the country. From the beginning, it had a mechanical clock, a great rarity at the time. There are 93 steps in total and it only takes a few minutes to get to the top, if you're fit that is. It is open to the public between Easter and September and offers great views of the city. St Albans Cathedral is named after Alban, the first Christian martyr in Britain who was beheaded because of his faith and he was buried here over 1700 years ago. The building's amazing architecture bears witness to the many centuries of its life, first as an abbey and now as a cathedral. The Great Norman Tower was even built using bricks that were salvaged from the town's Roman ruins. Nearby is a beautiful lake, which is the perfect spot for a picnic. However, if you haven't packed a picnic, then fear not. You can always head to one of St Albans' famous alehouses. This is Ye Old Fighting Cox, named by the Guinness Book of Records as the oldest pub in Britain. The building dates back to the 11th century, and if you're looking to enjoy a nice pint of real ale, then this is the place. Thank you. St Albans boasts the most pubs per square mile in Britain. It's also where the campaign for real ale first began, and they like their beer so much that they've even got their own beer festival. Cheers. Just a short walk across town, you'll come to the Verulamium Museum. If you're into history, then this is a must. Verulamium is the name of the Roman settlement which once stood here and the third largest town in Roman Britain. On display are magnificent mosaics and artefacts that were discovered here and you can see how the rooms would have looked back in Roman times. Much of what remains of the Roman town now lies underneath Verulamium Park, where you can see fragments of the Roman city walls and even the foundations of a Roman villa, complete with underfloor heating. Just a few minutes away are the magnificent ruins of a Roman theatre. It's the only example of its kind in Britain today, with it being a theatre with a stage as opposed to an amphitheatre. From Verulamium, a walk through St Michael's Village is a pleasant way to get back into town. If you fancy a snack, then why not try the Waffle House, which is set in an old water mill? Or if you fancy something a little bit more posh, then why not stop at St Michael's Manor Hotel for a bit of afternoon tea? After immersing yourself in St Albans history, it's time to get back to the present and update your wardrobe. St Albans has hundreds of gift shops and boutiques, so back to what I do best, a bit of shopping.
Well, I'm back here at the station to get my train back to London, which gets me there in 20 minutes. My challenge was to show you just how much I could do in one day in St Albans. Did I do it? Yes, I did. So if you like the look of everything that St Albans has to offer, from Roman history to medieval relics, right up to the latest fashions, then why not give it a go? You'll be pleased you did.